I'm David Allegra of the adjunct faculty at Yavapai College, and this is my amazing story of openness. <laughs> but I hope it's Monday. Uh, when you're a recent doctoral graduate, as I was more than a year ago, you're very happy, and there's probably no such thing as a disappointing email from your school. A and so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in this, uh, uh, among all the good news in trying to clear graduation came this question, which the university was going to help in publishing your dissertation, getting it on file, once and for good. And that was through the database ProQuest, which I think our students are familiar with. And the way the email asked this in the winter of 2012 was, there are two ways to do this. The traditional way is that you fill out the forms and request that yes, you want your slight royalty every time your dissertation is accessed. Or we have a belief there's a rising groundswell of scholars and writers who feel that information should be out there free, unfettered uh, for access and that it's really good for humanity to do that. And that sounds familiar with the theme we've been talking about. So I thought about it and that was pretty much an easy choice and shared that with friends. We have a Facebook site in which we're trying to help uh, doctoral candidates and learners graduate from our university. In this case, it's the University of Phoenix, but I think anyone could take the advice. We have excerpts of uh, steps that we had to take to get through, what to do if you have a difficult committee, and so forth. But back to the ProQuest thing, I realized that when I was writing the dissertation, which was really just a big paper, I accessed almost a thousand sources. I ended up using just under 200. I don't know if I would have paid a fee. Maybe I would have. But I think I would have circled, literature-wise, around to see if I really needed it. So when the question came, I thought, money? The counterpoint was, yeah, but uh, assuming there's a few people out there that really wanted to see it, why block them with a fee? And so uh, I've noticed that if any of our little group from last year has actually asked for a royalty, they've never admitted it. Uh, but also, there are ways to, for authors to to uh, gain a little compensation from it. Uh, when I write a book, I'll be glad to do that. And what's nice is I don't have to follow rules. I just have to take a chance that somebody might or might not buy it. And that's it. Thank you.